right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Accomplished strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it, all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the take now for this featherweight fight. Three years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Abuja, Nigeria, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. Can you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is? He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the challenge. Nice head kick. Gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Ooh, head kick landed. He's hurt. Missing on the high kick there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Whips on the right hand. 
I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Watch the shot. Nice sneaky head kick. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Flush right hand is true. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Right up the elbow, why is he playing? All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good stick. Oh, big head kick. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, a huge block there. Nice job of hiding that hit. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Beautiful body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Oh! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. 
talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in the three rounds. Nice kick. Sidekick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Not there. Lee's punch to the body rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. How good is that right hand? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch lands over the top. Out of range with that kick attempt. What a head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Lee gets hit with a kick. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance and showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets the dominant.